Well, good morning. Uh, pray that uh, you're doing well today. Uh, we're preparing for the uh, memorial celebration for uh, Peggy Phillips for the life she lived for Jesus and uh, getting ready for the service this afternoon. One o'clock is visitation and 2 p.m. is the memorial service and uh, be a time for us to just thank God for this precious sister in the Lord's life and uh, the testimony she's lived for Jesus. So encourage you if you're free to come, be a support to Lonnie, the rest of the family. Uh, they've been in Potter's house um, 30 plus years, been part of our family here at the Potter's house. And so uh, today we're uh, uh, paying honor and uh, remembering the impact of the life of Peggy Phillips uh, today. I wanted to just bring a few thoughts to us about camp meeting 2022 that will start this Thursday night at 7 p.m. And I want to read a portion of scripture. I didn't get to this Sunday morning. It was the last scripture I wanted to end with that I said I was going to read and then totally forgot to read it. So I want to start today with this uh, with this scripture. It's found in 2 Chronicles chapter 5, 11 through 14. This is when Solomon is dedicating the temple uh, that he built for the presence of God, for God. And uh, our goal of the camp meeting this year is for his glory, a tent of meeting. We're going to do the meetings outside in a tent for the adults. We'll have full-scale things going on inside for the children. Pastors Matt and Nikki will be the min ministering with our children's directors, uh, Jordan and Charnisha Dorsch, to our children. Can't encourage you enough to bring kids every night, your neighborhood kids, your grandkids, your kids, your children, bring them, they're going to be ministered to powerfully in the children's camp meeting at the same time that the adults are out, uh, outdoors in a tent for our camp meeting this year. What we really sensed from the Lord was just to create space for God to just do whatever he wanted to do. Just to sit with the Lord, uh, we'll have preaching going on, there'll be ministry time, we're trusting the gifts of the Holy Spirit are going to flow amongst us as we gather in the name of the Lord. The major focus is just to worship God, to give him glory, to exalt him. And 2 Chronicles chapter 5, verse 11 through 14 is a powerful, powerful verse in regards to this uh, desire, this idea, I guess, this thing we sense God drop in our hearts as an eldership team. It says this, And it came to pass when the priests came out of the most holy place, for all the priests who were present had sanctified themselves without keeping to their divisions. And the Levites who were the singers, all those of Asaph and Heman and Jejuthun, with their sons and their brethren, stood at the east end of the altar, clothed in white linen, having cymbals, stringed instruments, harps, and with them 120 priests standing with trumpets. Indeed, it came to pass. This is in the temple. They're getting ready to dedicate the temple to the Lord. When the trumpeters and the singers were as one to make one sound to be heard in praising and thanking the Lord. And when they lifted up their voice with the trumpets and cymbals and instruments of music and praised the Lord saying, for he is good for his mercy endures forever. That the house, the house of the Lord was filled with a cloud so that the priest could not continue ministering because of the cloud for the glory of the Lord filled the house of God. They came with one purpose. It was to glorify God. It was to praise and thank God for his goodness and for his mercy. And what happened? The glory of God, the word glory there is the weight of God's presence, the kabod, the weightiness of who he is came into that temple and the priests couldn't minister. People were just prostrate everywhere. It tells, it, back in the outpouring of the Holy Spirit at the start of the century in Topeka, Kansas, there was a building that they were worshiping in, and the people that were going by called the fire department because there was literally fire on top of the building, but the building wasn't being burned. The fire of God's presence was there. What if that happened here? What if as we gathered with no other purpose than to glorify God, what if all at once, all of heaven broke loose. The heavens were opened and the glory of God poured out. We were prostrate. What if it happened for days? 
<laughs> I mean, uh, I think it was Amy Semple McPherson froze in place for days by the power of the Holy Spirit. There needs to be a great awakening. There needs to be an outpouring. We're just creating space, a tent of meeting, planning the heavens, laying the foundations of the earth. We're taking these four days, Saturdays, or excuse me, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and we're just spending time together just saying, God, we're just here to worship you. We're just here to exalt you. God, we're not after anything other than you, other than you. We want you. We want you. We hunger and thirst for you, God, and you alone. So I encourage you, come to camp meeting. Bring children to camp meeting. Bring your friends to camp meeting. And let's see what God will do as we come with one desire to glorify, to glorify God, to worship God, to magnify the Lord, to fill the airwaves with the high praises of God and to declare his word out into the atmosphere. Praise the Lord. Friday, or excuse me, Thursday night we start at 7 p.m. There's going to be Friday, 10 a.m., 7 p.m. that night. Saturday, 10 a.m., 7 p.m. that night. Sunday, we're going to have our large picnic here, an explosion. We're going to graduate our students out of the School of the Spirit, Vessels of Honor. There's going to be a powerful day, a powerful day. And I want to encourage you, bring your friends, be a part, come hungry, come hungry, and see what God will do. 2 Chronicles 7, 14 says, If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and turn from their wicked ways, seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I'll heal their land. What's, the, what's our part? To, to hunger, to turn to God, to call out to God. Jeremiah 29, 13. Thank you, Jesus. Jeremiah 29, 13. It says this, I'm, I'm, I'm going to get there. Jeremiah 29, 13, it says, I looked at this earlier, I got, I'm going to get there. Here it is. And you will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. You will seek me and find me when you search for me with all your heart. Let's come this weekend together, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and just say, God, we're searching you. We're hungry for you. The Abani F verse jumped in my spirit earlier today. Call unto me, and I'll show you great and mighty things. If we will just come before the Lord and just say, God, we're just here to bring you glory, to bring you glory. Camp meeting, 2022, July 31st through Sunday, July 24th. Every night, every morning, and the afternoons, we're going to have some things going on. You can check out our website, get more details. Encourage other, if you can, pass this uh, video on to your friends, encouraging them to be part of camp meeting. Any ways that we can get it out there. And let's just come together as God's people and just say, God, we're just hungry. We are just hungry. We know there's more. And God, we want to release the glory of God into our county, into our state, into our nation and the nations. We're just here. God, hungering and thirsting for you. Hallelujah. Have a great day. If you're unable to make it this afternoon, I encourage you to pray for the Phillips family. Again, a precious brother and sister in Christ that are part of our, our family here at the Potter's House for a lot of years. Have a good day. Look forward to seeing everybody soon.